In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your Robinhood account to another brokerage. And it's so easy, I'm going to do it in five minutes or less. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jay. And today we're going to be transferring brokerage accounts. I'm going to be showing you how to transfer your Robinhood brokerage account over to Fidelity, but this process is about the same if you're transferring any brokerage account to any other brokerage account. So while I'm using Robinhood and Fidelity in my example here, if you're looking to move your brokerage account to another broker, these same steps apply. It's really easy, it's really simple. There's just one thing you have to remember is don't sell all your stocks and investments if you wanna move brokerage companies. It's totally unnecessary. All you're going to do is cause yourself to pay a lot of taxes on the gains on that. You can transfer all of your stocks from Robinhood or whatever other brokerage to the other brokerage of your choice without selling a single one. And I'm going to show you right now. It's easy. It's simple. So let's put five minutes on the clock and get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up account at your brokerage of choice. So here I am at Fidelity. I'm going to open up an account. You want to open up the same kind of account. So if it's a traditional brokerage, you want to open an individual brokerage account. If you're transferring an IRA, you want to open it the same kind of IRA. So I'm opening a traditional brokerage account. I'm going to open a joint account because my better half would have issues if I left her out of it. So because I already have a Fidelity account, I can just enter my username and password here and it will pull some of my info. Otherwise, you're just going to have to give your name, your address, your occupation, you know, your typical personal details to open the account. So when you're opening an account at your new brokerage, you're going to enter in all your personal details, where you work. You're going to have to attest that you're not a board member on a publicly traded company. You don't own more than 10% of a publicly traded company, just simple regulation stuff. So after you enter in all your personal details, you'll have to just agree to some legal stuff electronic delivery of documents. Yeah, I don't want mail, guys. Come on, just email me everything. And then you click open account. So it thinks for a while and boom. Now it takes you to fund your account and this is the important step. You wanna click transfer assets from an account at another brokerage firm because we're transferring our Robinhood account into Fidelity. So that's where we're gonna fund this account. We're gonna click continue. And then you just enter in the name of the account you're transferring from. So I'm transferring from Robinhood. I enter in Robinhood and then I need my Robinhood account number. So I'm going to click over here in my Robinhood account. If you're in Robinhood, you just go to account and then down to settings. And it's right there. Your account number is right there on the bottom. So I got my Robinhood account number. I just paste it in there. I it's an individual account at Robinhood. I'm transferring to the account I just opened and I want to transfer all of the assets I have at Robinhood. I'm transferring my whole Robinhood account to Fidelity. So I click that and then the final thing I have to do, some brokerages actually don't need this step. Fidelity wants me, basically I'd, uh, you download a form and you upload it, you can sign it, you can even take a picture of it with your phone of the signed copy to upload it. And you just have to download a recent Robinhood statement and upload it here so they can finalize the transfer of the account. So they know they're bringing all the right stuff over. It'll help them get all your cost basis and stuff like that right. And that my friends is it. That's all it takes to say goodbye to Robinhood, to leave Robinhood, to transfer your Robinhood brokerage account into a Fidelity brokerage account. If you wanted to transfer your Robinhood account to TD Ameritrade or Schwab or Webull, the steps are essentially the same. The key is after you open your account at the new brokerage, when it asks you how you fund it, you want to make sure that you click transfer from another brokerage and enter your Robinhood details in there and then select transfer all assets. That's the key to the whole thing. Otherwise, it is super simple, super easy. It takes about five, five business days to transfer everything over from brokerage to brokerage. That's typical. I've done it a few different places. That's you're not going to get around that. So if this video was helpful, please give it a like down below. It really helps out me and the channel. I really appreciate it. And it's all I really ask of you. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more like it, check out these two videos over here. They will make you a better investor and better with your money, and I hope you see you there.